What's up, it's your boy Super Mario 1990 coming at y'all with a CD Project Red reaction to their apology for Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, they are the developers, of course, that made Cyberpunk 2077 that came out December 11th. And uh, a couple days ago, they issued an apology because the game has been facing a bunch of bugs. There's even a Twitter, uh, you know, hashtag out there, Cyberbug2077. So it ain't a good look for them right now. And so they apologize for how the game is running with uh, just a plethora of bugs on the PS4 and the Xbox One versions. Uh, I think especially like the base versions, like the first editions of the consoles from that generation, right? And then on top of that, they were also apologizing for um, the review embargo, not letting people put up, you know, videos and footage for their reviews. Like people were able to review the game prior, but they weren't able to use footage from their actual gameplay. And so, you know, they apologized for doing that because um, in doing so, people weren't, you know, uh, available, had the right information available to make like a more informed or, you know, purchase uh, before the time. So they apologized for that. And they also issued uh, that you can get refunds. And this is through the digital storefront. So, um, you know, Xbox Marketplace, the PlayStation Store, uh, and then they said retailers, you know, that goes how that goes. Um, you know, it depends on your city and everything. Like, I know where I'm at, you know, it's more so they like strict. Like, if you open the box with electronics, if you open the box, you can't take it back within, you know, the time frame. So once it's open, you pretty much can't get a refund. Sometimes people will be cool enough and give it to you, but usually it's just, you can only exchange, but you, you know, they try to like not give you a refund. Um, I've been hearing um, from like, just like customer service forums and things like that. I've heard people who live in other places that will actually get a refund, even if they opened it and used it, as long as it was back within, you know, the allotted time. And I'm like, man, where they do that at? They're a little more strict where I am. So it's like, um, it kind of depends, you know, that kind of varies if you got like a, a physical version and you want to return it. And uh, CDPR is also issuing refunds, you know, through them. How that process goes, they didn't really explain it. Uh, I know one thing they said it has to be done before December 21st, but uh, I don't know if it's like for digital or physical or for both and how their whole process goes, who knows. Um, but then, a couple, you know, just like today, they had to issue something again that um, because people took them up on the whole refund thing, the uh, digital storefronts anyway, they tried to go to, at least I know PlayStation with Sony, they tried to go and try to get the refunds and Sony's looking like, nah, we ain't issuing no refunds because Sony's policy is if you have something um, that's bought digitally, if you don't download it, you still can get a refund. And then there's something else too, um, it's new to me, but it's always been their thing, I guess. I guess I just found out about it in light of this whole cyberpunk debacle that if you do have the game and you do play it, if it's under two hours, you can still uh, get a refund under certain circumstances. And so I guess people are like well past the two hours. They already downloaded it. They already played it and everything. And so a lot of people aren't getting refunds and they have to come out and be like, well, yeah, well, Sony and Microsoft ain't doing nothing special for our game. Their policies are their policies. And so it's like, okay, but you just said they can get a refund. But now you're basically saying they can't if they don't fall in line with those guidelines, which I think most people won't because, you know, they bought the game. They want to want to play it and then they're pissed off. And so now they're like, okay, well, you said we can get a refund and let's get the refund because I'm not pleased with the product. But most people aren't, you know, getting that kind of... Um, they aren't getting that kind of service. So now it's kind of like, this ain't a good look, man. And this is the first game that I bought from the company, but I've heard because of The Witcher and everything, I heard that they're a stand-up company and people, you know, always had like a lot of goodwill and faith toward them. But it looks like they starting to kind of lose that with how this game was released. Because um, if you remember, this game was supposed to come out in April of this year, earlier, and uh, they pushed it back. And they pushed it back to September, then they pushed it back to November, and then from November they pushed it back to now December, and it finally came out. And it's kind of funny because people were pissed about the delays. But people understood, it's like when, when the delay happens, it's because the game is not yet finished, and you want the product to come out finished, and you want it in good quality and good standard, right? So some people can understand, like, oh, okay. 
they just get mad because it's like, well, don't announce a day and you know you ain't ready. Because it's kind of like, if you in the game development, people think you should know when your game will be ready. So it's kind of like, don't come jumping the gun if you know you still gotta fine tune and polish some things and still gotta fix up certain bugs and everything like that. And so now it's to the point where if you were pissed that they kept delaying the game and you got the game now and you see all the bugs, now it's to the point where it's like, oh, well, I wish I would've delayed it to like, probably like May, June, 2021, then it'll probably be ready. So now it's understandable why these delays happen so many times. And it's like, man, y'all still needed some more delays. You still should have came out a little later. So it's just messed up. Um, for me, luckily, I think I've just been blessed because I do have base PS4. And um, I actually have not been running into any bugs. Uh, I did get the patch. It was 45 gigabytes. That, that was a headache because um, I got the game like a day or two early before release. And so um, I was able to just download. That took about 12 hours, though. And it was like late at night by the time it finally had downloaded. And I just I wanted to play, but I'm like, I was getting a little tired just late at night and I had to work the next morning. So I'm like, let me just try to do the character creation. And then but I just couldn't. I got halfway through and I'm like, nah, I, I just can't. I, I gotta get ready, I gotta go to sleep. I'll get back to this some other time, I, I can't right now. So that gave me a little bit of a headache. But um, when I did play it, I had fun. It was pretty good, I'm a few hours into the game. Now, since I am a few hours into the game, I am a little nervous because uh, there's another patch right now that I got downloaded that's worth 17 gigs. I'm like halfway through that. So I'll see how it plays. But for me, um, I haven't run into anything the first time I booted up the game. Uh, I got halfway through the character creation, then I just quit because I was sleepy. I'm like, right, I'll get back to it the next day. And I noticed the next day, um, the only thing was that there's this intro that they play um, each time the game boots up. You can skip it if you want to, of course, too. But um, I usually just don't. I usually just watch it and because it's only a minute. And I noticed that um, there was like a couple of little stutters here and there, like the frame rate would kind of drop a little bit. But it would still go through the whole video. Um, it didn't do that the first time, but now every time I play it, it does that. Um, it's nothing too annoying. And then the only other thing is that when you're driving cars, because you can switch um, through multiple perspectives, you can go first person. That's like the default um, setting for when you're driving the car. I like to drive in third person. So there's three different camera angles. There's the first person camera angle, then there's a the third person, and then it's like a third person that's like farther away from the car. And so when I press the button um, for PS4, it's the right, uh, it's the right stick not the right stick but you know the, the directional pad to the right and uh, i'm pretty sure it's the pad on um, the xbox but you press that and then you're supposed to change the camera angle and it takes like two seconds for the thing to react for me when i first did it i thought i just didn't push the button hard enough so i pressed it again and then i pressed it again then it finally happened but it kept switching perspectives i'm like oh oh this thing is on a delay okay so just press it and then wait and then it'll change so those are like the only two things that I ran into and um, it's like, oh, okay, I haven't been running into like the crazy glitches that I've been seeing um, on videos and memes are being made. I'm like, oh man, is, is this for real? They really running like this? And I would watch certain people. I'm like, oh man, I, I got it good. Um, my only true complaint, I'm like, I'm having fun with the game so far. It's pretty good. The only complaint I have really is the graphics um, on my PS4. Uh, base PS4 and I am playing on the 720p TV so I'm kind of thinking maybe that's why but I think other people are having base PS4s and you know maybe a 4k display and still like kind of looking like the graphics are underwhelming uh, for me it looks like a decent looking PS3 game that's just how it looks graphically um, which is crazy because when I play at night it looks really good at night like it the neon lights and everything like it looks pretty good it still didn't to me look like i just came from playing call of duty uh black ops world war uh, i mean uh, cold war and so those cutscenes look like movies right and so cyberpunk i'm kind of expecting something on that scale i mean it is a massive open world game so maybe just a little scale back but something to look like that because i mean the last couple of years in this generation the games have been looking really good even on base ps4s like i haven't had a problem with games graphically if they were supposed to be highly touted right and so this game just does not do it it's well below par and i'm like okay but at least at night uh, when i first played the game it seemed 
like, oh, okay, it looks pretty good. I thought it looked better, but it, it looks it looks pretty good though. But then when um, time had advanced in the game and it was daytime, I started seeing all the flaws. I'm like, oh, this game is kind of okay. It's a little hard on my eyes. I gotta adjust to it. So it's like, um, I mean, I guess they do call it night city, not day city. So I guess you know maybe it is supposed to look better at night, but it's like during the day, it's kind of like I can see all the flaws, and it's like okay, yeah, a lot of things could could be tweaked. Now I did hear that uh, they're coming out with two major patches, one in January and one in February, and they did say that they're trying to also graphically improve the game, but they said it's not gonna be. It's still not going to be up to the standards of like if you were playing it on that was compatible for the PS5 or if you were playing on PC with all the high end gear, which is to be expected. But um, they're saying it's going to get pretty close. That's what they're saying. You know, we'll see. But um, yeah, they, they, they got a lot of ground to cover. And uh, the whole review thing, um, because they also too um, had it where people were getting their copies like someone got their copies like about two or three weeks before the game was officially supposed to drop from december 11th and so they made sure to come out and be like okay since you guys are getting early copies we don't want you guys uploading videos you know now at first i was thinking like it was just for spoiler purposes like okay people haven't had their hand on the game yet getting the game this early and if you're a content creator if you just want to put some stuff out there of course you're going to do it we encourage you we please politely ask you not to we don't want to spoil anything for our players and everything i'm thinking it was just like strictly just that right so they were like yeah we partnered with um i guess like one of those like technical things where they can take your video down you know they work with you know youtube twitch or whatever and they can get your video taken down if you post something give you copyright strikes and you know things like that you know so of course don't want your you know channel taken down due to that so it was like okay just fall in line and not release videos like i had my game a couple of days before release and i made sure i didn't drop anything till um the time zone that they gave me which was like december 10th at like 6 p.m something like that so i'm like if i do a video it ain't dropping until then you know i had to respect for them but when i was seeing reviews and i, I still watch reviews like even though i pre-ordered it and i got it i still watch reviews just to see what people are saying just to see where it's going and everything like that if i know that they're, that they're not gonna like spoil any um big details i'll still watch a review i mainly watch them from ign and GameSpot. um i'll read articles like um pls which is playstation lifestyle that's like my favorite source i go to them a lot um, it's PlayStation centric, so if you're playing on Xbox or PC, maybe it's nothing for you to check out, but I like it a lot. And they do reviews as well, but they didn't get a review copy till like a day or two after the game dropped. And they still don't have a review now because, you know, they got it at the last second and it's so much to play, so much to go through. Uh, they're working on it. But those are like the three sources I go to for uh, reviews. And I pretty much saw that no one was able to show their own review footage. They could talk about it and talk about their experience playing, but they couldn't actually show footage. And it's like, oh, well, now we know why wow, all these bugs. So, and that's probably too another reason why um, content creators and streamers couldn't put the game out there. I mean, yeah, you were getting the copy really early before a lot of other people. But at the same time, too, there, there was some stuff to cover up. There was some stuff they didn't want people seeing, too. So it's kind of like, mm. so with their apology, like I said, they outlined not um, coming out to the high standard. And then, um, you know, just trying to issue refunds and, you know, not showing the footage. But it's like, I, to apologize for not showing the footage, like, I, no one really does that. There's a reason why you did that. So it's kind of like, I and they had already celebrated um, 8 million pre-orders sold, which was kind of like, it was kind of like a slap in the face because it's like, um, you do hear, right, that people are having problems with this game. So it's like to brag about that you sold 8 million pre-orders. That's kind of like, yeah, we got your money. And it's like, people looking like, yo, man, this game is unplayable, bro. Like, you really gonna, you really gonna throw it in our face? That you, you got our money? Like, really? So, um, I mean, it's just not a good look for them. It's oof, ooey, ooey. Um, like I said, I haven't been running into anything, but most people are, so it's a huge problem. And um, 
hopefully they get it together, recover their name. I think it's gonna be a long way because a lot of people got sour taste in their mouths. So it, it, it just ain't looking good. And most people can't get a refund like CDPR um, had promised because they're like, well, you know, we, we said that, but I mean, it's up to Microsoft and Sony at the end of the day. It would have been nice had they said that in the apology. They had to come out a couple days later after people weren't getting refunds. Like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, you know, they thing is they thing. So if they don't want to get our, the money back, then ain't nothing we can do about it. That's basically how it sounds. So it's kind of like, okay. This apology seems kind of, who knows? But um, that's that with um, Cyberpunk 2077. And there's two major patches, one in January, one in February. Hopefully it improves the game. And they did promise to keep working on patches and fixing problems. Um, from what I've been hearing, when they say they downloaded the patches and everything, I mean, people who are having these like big problems, they are saying that these problems still persist. A lot of people aren't having these problems solved. And some people are in the same boat with me. They're saying they're playing on base PS4s and are having no problems or just a few problems. So, you know, um, that's good, but it seems like it's a small uh, minority, maybe. That's what it seems like anyway. I feel like I come across people who more so have problems than everything is um, running smoothly. So, mm, and we should have known something was up because one of the developers in the article had said that um, on base PS4s and Xbox Ones, the game ran surprisingly good. Now, when I saw that, I was kind of like, I wanted to ignore it because I made my pre-order already, right? I got my copy coming. I wanted to ignore that, but at the same time, I'm looking like, why are you surprised? Because um, this game was talked about in 2012, I believe, and was in development. Yeah, at that time, base PS4 and Xbox One were the consoles out, so you should have been ready for those consoles. I mean, they delayed the game, but they delayed the game not enough to where PS4 base and xbox one is obsolete you know so it's kind of like you still gotta make sure you hit them consoles first because there's no native ps5 version now so it's like you still have to cater to those consoles so yes there's the pro and yes there's the uh what is it the one x i think is the more um you know high-end kind of 4k uh system i mean yeah you got those but not everybody people jump the gun first and got one console and you can just only get, like me, I'm only gonna get one console a generation, I'm not gonna buy two. Well, I ain't got it like that. If I did have it like that, I probably would if I felt that it was necessary, but most people are just gonna get one. So if you got yours pretty early, you're probably not gonna get the the next best thing, unless you felt it was definitely necessary and you can get your hands on it. And wasn't nothing gonna come up in a while, maybe. But it's like, uh, yeah, you still should cater to the base. So to say it's surprisingly good and your development time has been, should have been focused on that primarily. Maybe things have changed over time, but you still have to cater to that audience. So that was kind of like, that was alarming. And then it comes out 45 gigabyte patch. And I'm like, oh, well, if it's that big, probably should be fixed. And that wasn't the case for a lot of people. So, eh. But yeah, um, just letting y'all know that. But this is your boy Super Mario 1990. Uh, let me know how y'all feeling like with the Cyberpunk 2077. Do you have the game? Is you waiting? A lot of people are like, yeah, we waiting until like the price drops and all the bugs is fixed. And DLC is coming up with the game too. So it's like DLC and expansions. They're like, yo, when we can get like a complete package at a discounted price, then we'll get the game for like 30 bucks full edition. People just wait, you know, they look like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't get my game early. So it's like, uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys are having problems, uh, if you got the game, uh, if you're not having problems, or uh, if you are just going to wait on getting the game, or if you thought the game was all hype from the get-go and you looking like, yeah, nah, I'll pass. But it's your boy, Super Mario 1990. I'm out. Peace in.